Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to find, so that's cool. I'll just do private chats and send you over the link. And then that's we're, cool. okay. So um, I know you gotta get going, we don't talk long, but you know, I, I really fumbled at the beginning cause I was like, I, I'm not using the excuse I didn't feel good, but I wasn't as quickly to respond. Yeah, <laughs> so, and, and I forgot to share it on my page. I'm trying to like not have where my personal page is always my show and my other content. So yeah. I got to figure out a better way, maybe have my other laptop or something or iPad and to, to share it because my audience wasn't getting it until I shared it. And so right. I thrive for even if it's one person in there, oh, you yeah. know, I thrive. I freak out when I don't see at least one person in the audience. Don't ask me why. It's just my thing. But also they'll consider replay. You know what I mean? I know. Yeah. I know. I mean, it, Central Standard Time, you know, is is lunchtime here. You know what right. I mean? So, right. uh, anybody that's a part of the Grow Live or whatever that's, uh, you know, in the Midwest, I mean, they're on lunch if they're if they're working person. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't worry about it that way. But I do have some okay. daytime friends that I know that you know are on. It's just that number. Just I don't know. It's something. I'll work on that, figure it out. But sure. I no. think it was really great, though, when you talk about your dad. I had like three confirmations, like he was here, and like, wow. like it, it, yeah, wow. that's why I was like, oh, and I'm saying it again, and I get the goosebumps. That's when, <laughs> yeah, he's present, and and again, you get a point in your life where you realize, especially when you have the near death experiences, you have those things in your life that you realize the urgency, the urgency that look. Your time is limited. You were given extra time. Yeah. It's one of those things you just need to finish up, whatever it is you need to finish up. But, And I also notice, like, when I'm in some serious conversations with people mm -hmm. and I get a message from God for them, I say it, but then this is the cool thing. Out of nowhere, I kid you not, the phone will drop. And I'm like, and then I know God's telling me, you can't tell them no more. And I'm like, okay, because I'll tell you what, I want to help people out, but I don't want to push my time when he says, look, she's talking too much, <laughs> yeah. you know? So I don't want to, I don't want to be on that side of it. But what I'm trying to say is that um, life is just like that Benjamin Button, you know, that if only we knew the things we needed to know, it's just like a story or show you see, you, you don't ever pay attention to the logistics of the beginning of a story. And then later you watch the whole, the, the end of the show. What do you do? You go rewind it because you didn't pay attention. You know you didn't pay attention. So I think this could be a great backstage clip because this is, you know, we don't make the shit up. It's just the way it is. Right. right. So there was, there was one story or one mindset that I, I didn't share because we were coming close and it just yeah. didn't fit is, uh, I had a lady that I was pretty close with, uh, you know, just a friend and, uh, she was an older woman. She lives in Texas now, but, uh, we were pretty tight in and around my accident time. And she asked me, she goes, how do I get all of the, uh, all the, the clarity that you got without going through what you did? And I said, I, I, I don't think you can, no. you know, cause everybody's going to perceive it differently. They're going to be where they are mentally, physically. Yeah. And, uh, what the way that I look at life now is, yes, I want to get a lot done and I want to be productive and successful, but it's like the way I look at things like traffic and not taking a pause or not allowing somebody in, you know, that needs to get into the expressway, that point of view just changes, you know, and it's like, we all have our terms. Yeah. Confronting myself from a standpoint, I was just go, 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 go but at the cost of what yeah you know like at the cost of almost losing my life right yeah. like and it's like okay i'm a firm believer that it's like okay the higher power is telling me you need to slow down yeah i'm gonna I mean, i'm gonna keep you alive but you need to slow down yeah yeah you can't yeah. keep doing what you're doing because otherwise i will take you away right yeah it it is a it is awesome how you know you're given another chance to you know, never do it just right or whatever, but you get given another little piece of wisdom and your mortality becomes more reality. And well, and like, just the, and just the distinction of what somebody's world is without actually having a near death experience and somebody that is, 
and it's like when they cross notes it's like traffic or i didn't get a business deal it's right. like hey to me you you could be dead in a in a casket right yeah yeah or you didn't get a business deal so you try harder you go to work on yourself a little bit more mm -hmm. you know what i mean but you don't it can i how do i say this so people's you, point of reference is only can only go so far as what they've experienced exactly. exactly if they if they didn't know if they were you know in a vehicle where they were trapped for an hour and a half or whatever that looks like that reality is going to be a lot different than somebody that's never had a near-death experience right it, it's it's so true on every level of any experience i mean whether you have been married whether you haven't whether you have kids it all becomes take you know like those mad libs remember those yeah. mad libs? <laughs> an adjective here a noun here a pronoun it's truly that it really is a mad lib i mean you're just sticking whatever it is and it all says the same shit, just a different way of it, how it perceives itself which is really funny because it reminds me how i would play this game with people about um i'm not going to share it here well maybe I, I don't know we we're running out of time but it'll be sometime let me say the um game okay i'll just leave that there for some other time but anyhow so tomorrow's topic looks really fun yeah. there's and a question um it's kind of a long one maybe we can break it down but that's just what comes to mind what's one way you are disrupting an area of your life and taking action i like that because I mean, over. you, in my mind, w the way that I think, and I and I have a good story from uh, a relationship that ended after four years that uh, really paved the way for that. There's a clear distinction between thinking and action, and it's not just a statement. I think it's also it's a it's a part of the brain. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Where when you think of something, that's one thing, but when you've life has shown up in such a way where it's a clear distinction it's like hemispheres of the brain you know you're either yeah. thinking or taking action yeah i'm deleting this question oh okay yeah because then we're going to go to um we'll go into the well no let's delete that one yep and then we're that's our topic yep. i don't think i need to write topic it just no, be, no, no yeah no, no. No. And then this will Maybe be tomorrow's even put question. In parentheses. Maybe even yeah. put it in parentheses, like the distinctions yeah. of thinking versus action. <laughs> my, my accent when I say that word parentheses is so messed up. Yeah. I <laughs> and then my kids will pick on me. I'm like, shut up. Uh, okay. There we go. Or me, yeah. Here, here's a thought that I had before we complete this. Um, okay. What are your thoughts about, because I'm not a huge comparison person. I'm more of a distinction person, right? Okay. Like you look for the differences. You don't look for competition. Like it's one right. or the other, right? Is what do you think about thinking and action versus thinking versus action? Because you need both, obviously. But and instead of having it framed in no, terms of how, a, how about it just thinking or actions? Because you think about something when you're thinking about it, you're not actually doing it. Perfect. Or there's okay. the action. That because works. action, yeah. you're doing one or the other. Yeah, you, you like. You yeah, know what I mean? The process, the I mean. Time. The process is like, okay, get your ass off. I'm thinking about getting your ass off and going to the gym. And then the action right. is, hey, I'm at the gym. Right. Yeah. So it, I, I'm going to fix it that way. I'm yeah, glad thinking, how we yeah, that's good clarity because I'm just not a. Yeah. I'm not a comparison person. It's well, like. Well, that's why we're good together. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> right, I, and I think that in order to. I mean, to me, it's very clear that you're either thinking or taking actions at all times. Right, right. And, you and can... what gets, in, and obviously the brain is what we contend with. That's what we have to, the biggest uh, point of contention in our in our being, our own competition, is what's up here, the matter right. in our brain. Right. And, you know. and with that said, we should end it here only because... Okay. Um, we start getting really good ass material and then we're like floundering saying, well, let's recreate what we talked about backstage. So I want to talk to you, Brian, but I'm not going to talk to you because this is going to be good shit. So the fact that, uh, you know, 
uh, whether we think about the show or not beforehand, and then we're taking action. Shit, we're at the show now. You know <laughs> the, that story though. I, I that I'll share tomorrow. I, rem- I mean, it it was it was a story, but it was the outcome of the story that uh, man, that one story changed my life. And uh, well, awesome. it it can it 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 was one that changed my life in terms of um, for <laughs> being so deep in thinking that no action was available. Yeah, I, I, it was like back up, backed up into a mental corner that you literally can't get out of. Yeah. That's what and, it was like. And I sense you and I empathize with you so much. And like I said, I battle with that depression and all this stuff. And it's going to be there. It's going to, you know, it's depression's going to be there, but you got to give it its compartment. You got to say, I'm not defined by this. I'm not defined. I got to get out of this freaking room because I've been in those kind of crazy rooms yeah. and I'm going to go be with the general public and yeah. be a, be of, of the right mind to do something with, with what tears me up inside and, and help other people that are Ooh, going through the same. I stuff. just got another, uh, another idea for a show. <laughs> well, write it down. Tell me it's uh, the difference or your economy or your world versus the world. Write that down, please. Okay. All right. I, uh, yeah. I, uh, see, I will after we get off. Okay, yeah. people, just telling you. You see how he and I work? This is freaking amazing. <laughs> you know, this is just where... Because, because what you said based out of the depression is that so much of how one one experiences depression is not how we think about it. It's influenced by what the right. mass per se. Right. And they don't understand yet. And, and that, that is another thing about depression. I don't, I bring it up when I let people know I relate to it, but I don't bring yeah. it up for the premise of to walk around and be a billboard for depression when I smile yeah. all the time, because smiling makes me feel better. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's one of those things where pe- people don't realize we all have some kind of mental disorder. We do. Well, and yeah. people just want to st- Stick a point and label to one and not the other is bullshit because that's well, not how it rolls. I'll give you one. I'll give you one last piece that just stands out in the, the hypocrisy of it. Oh is that, gosh, is that one of my one of my you know parts of my triple major when I was doing my undergrad was psychology. Okay, and obviously clinical psychology, and you work up the reins to a PhD. But it's like okay, you know how they talk, you know like psychologists are shrinks or they're witch doctors or whatever and it's like i need i pursued therapy um couples counseling and all of that out of my previous relationship and it was crazy because it's like what i said in the beginning is that that's for the week that's only for those people you know that's all that was your perception in that world that was from somebody that studied it you know Oh, yeah. And uh, that was, um, you know, but now it's just like when you tell somebody, oh, yeah, you know, like without even, and obviously when you add depression on it in isolation, you don't talk to anybody. So you don't know what they're witnessing or what they, but the minute you open up to somebody else, they're like, oh, yeah, I've done that before. Yeah. And I've- so then all of a sudden they're like, oh, wow. It's like there are other people that do this. And it's not like they're going to scream billboard that I do therapy. Right, right. But we're more similar than we are different. Do, so. Can you see my screen? Yes. Mm-hmm. I want to share something that I didn't share today. Okay. That uh, that I thought was poignant, and it's just funny how this was, uh, I guess, two years ago now. So hold on. There we go. Wait. Hey, everybody! Today is Sunday. Fun day. Fun day for Sunday. Today, I'm going to spend time planning and getting my week on a good note. Um, I hope you guys are resting and taking it easy and enjoying this beautiful Sunday. Um, Sunday, where people usually go to church. That reminds me once upon a time that I was going to a, a church here in Billings. And uh, it's hard to say, but it's the truth. I had a whole church of 400 members turn their backs on me. Mm. They they knew who I was or knew. uh, I thought they knew who I was. But uh, they just all turned against me. 
I was going to church. My husband wasn't going to church. I was going to church with my uh, husband's family. And all because they said, don't talk to her. She's got issues. They stopped talking to me, except for two people in the church who have been my friend for over 20, 23 years now. And um, I had to reinvest, invent myself after that. Um, pretty hard when you think your Christian family is people you can rely on. That's just a little tidbit there, but um, yeah. Surround yourself with people you can trust. Yeah. Anyhow, I hope you're going to good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. And that was two years ago that I could actually say that out loud. Mm. Well, I I don't have any words. <laughs> right? So if that's not a testament of things, hey? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for sharing that, though. Yeah. So backstage reels on the, on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to have to start doing a lot. Um, I was gonna say a laundry party. No, um, I was, I was, gonna, I was I'm gonna have to start writing down every time I spool some personal stuff on every show and stuff, you know. And I'm gonna start doing like after things about those things because, um, you know, people don't understand that these these are truths. These are things that were, and people relate that. And people, you know, look at where I'm at now. Look at where I was two years ago. But I also think that there's an opportunity in this sh this sh um, showed up previously. Remember when I challenged you a little bit, like about uh, the girl live and you know all of that. Yeah. Remember what remember what I said? Where it's just like, why does it matter what other people think? Right. right? Exactly. Is that, I mean, the brain is going to think about stuff and do what it's going to do. Yeah. But why does why does it matter? You are who you are. That's right. You know, but, and it, I mean. We, we could spend a whole entire existence and a whole entire life trying to appease other people right. and we're going to fail miserably. Right. That's not what we're here to do. But you could also see from that video that that person there is not the person you see now oh, either. God, no, absolutely not. You know, and that was two years ago today. Wow. So it goes to show you how much you can grow and be in that, that mindset. And now I could just look at that like, yeah, you know. Well, you you look like you were definitely going through some stuff. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so stuff. if that's not a testament on my resume for people, you know, it's okay. Well, but, hey. but, but here's the difference, though. It's a testament for you to put in your bag of life um, skills and uh, yeah. achievements. Mm -hmm. Keep it within you and just use it anytime you get. But I don't think it's something that has to outwardly go to the world. Right. You know, like, you know, it's kind of like, hey, see me? I'm doing it. Yeah. I, I don't think it's needed, right? Because no. then you're giving attention to other people that. Right. Right. Shouldn't matter anyway. Exactly. That, that's exactly how I feel. Is the, but that is just for my personal, sure. you know. Yeah. Um, record so hey thanks again i'm looking forward to tomorrow's show and um whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> all right i love you so much love it's so great learning and and getting closer to you on camera it's it's such a progression that's so exciting we're gonna look oh, back man. at these and say oh my gosh look at us dead we haven't so. punched each other yet so we're okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right have a good one love you, you too. Love bye you too.